Hi, I'm Nathan from Aberdeen Homes. Thanks for joining us. Today I'm here with Peter Noop from Priority Mechanical. Hi, Nathan. How you doing? Good. Today we're talking about heating and the rough-ins that take place in a new home. Pete's company, Priority Mechanical, has been with Aberdeen Homes for many years, probably right from the start, about 16 years, you think? That's correct, for about 16 years now. Tell us a little bit about Priority Mechanical. Well, Priority Mechanical has been around for about 30 years now. We got a staff of over 40 employees, uh, quite a few field installers, and then a, a good, good sized crew in our office. So your crew today is doing the heating roughing. Can you explain to me what they're doing? Well, they're trying to distribute the air in the house. So they're actually working from the top floors and they're working their way down into the basement. One, and they're working on the supply and the return air. So actually the, the heat that uh, delivers the air up into the different uh, locations on the top floor um, and then also the return air. The air also has to return down into the basement to make its way back to the furnace. They'll also be working on uh, bath fans. Your, your fans in your house need to be exhausted and they'll be working on the ventilation parts and them exhaust fans. So today is the first step in a three-part process for you. What's the next step? Once we get the call that the floor has been poured, uh, we'll come in to set our furnace and our, run our trunk lines and our round runs out to our supplies and returns that got put in during the rough in stage. The next step is to come in and install the furnace and all the ductwork in the basement. Followed in behind him shortly is the gas fitter who will run the gas lines in the house, distributing it to the furnace, the water heater normally and any other uh, lines the homeowner would request, perhaps gas fireplaces, stoves, dryers, barbecues, etc. And the last step is our finishing crew. So they'll come in and they'll go over the entire house. They'll start by installing the grills, uh, hooking up the range hoods, installing thermostats, going over the entire system to make sure everything is done properly. They'll commission the furnace, perhaps the water heater, and just make sure that it is up and operating correctly. After a house closes, there's maintenance to do, mm -hmm. uh, specifically on the heating system. Can you explain to me what, what that is? Well, for the most part, it's your filtering uh, in your house. So basically, the furnace has its own filter. Uh, maybe perhaps on every three-month period, your furnace filter should be checked and possibly changed. Obviously, check to see if it's dirty and then change if it is. Um, also, if you're getting an HRV or these new, new air exchanger systems, they also will have to be maintained. Filters will have to be changed. So there's a little bit of work there for the homeowner. That's just uh, common maintenance. Um, after that, there is uh, maintenance packages available um, that even our service guys can come out and take care of your equipment. Thanks for joining us today, Pete. We learned a Thanks, lot. Nathan. Looking forward to working with you for many more years. We appreciate it. Thank you.